Ooh, all right, all right, all right. We're rolling up. Check it out. Oh, <laughs> That's a secret juice box, bro. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, two in a row, two in a row. Bigger. <laughs> oh, oh no. Good thing you got that insurance. That's what I'm saying. I'm about to catch more. Oh, what's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing somewhat of a different video, a little bit of an update. I'm gonna clean this lens off real quick. Those are the things you should do before you get the video started. And we're uh, over here at GS HQ, Guggen Squad headquarters, man. We're dropping off the John boat. I'm about to go out of town. We're actually getting ready to gear up and head out to California, fishing the Delta, doing another series with Catch Coat. It's gonna be over on their channel. And with that, I'm gonna drop the John boat off here till uh, maybe the 2nd of July or something when we get back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some new baits. I might also grab a new reel today. We're gonna be driving all across town. I gotta go pick up a part from Bass Pro Shops and Grapevine as well because there's something on the boat that broke. I don't know if that episode has made it to the big screen just yet, so I'm not gonna say on screen because I might have this video up before, but something on the boat <sighs> and the East Texas trip definitely broke. We might do some fishing later today, some bank fishing. Thank you guys so much for all the recent support on the latest videos. We're going to go ahead, let's unhook the old John boat and get this thing a rolling. Dude, everything's looking good. We got the pontoon, the Guggen tune. We got another little John boat over there. I don't know whose that is. We got this trailer. I don't know what Rob's doing with that. We got another Skeeter. We got, oh, there's the dirt bike. Dirt bike's in the house, hovercraft. Here's our kayak trailer. This is like, man, the HQ is just like spick and span. This place is cleaned out. Everyone's got their boats. They're on tour. They're fishing tournaments, boys. <laughs> We walked out with the goodies. I can't really show you what's inside of this box because I think it's an exclusive coming midsummer. But we did get a lot of baits and we are ready to tackle some fishing today as well as spool up this new reel we gotta go pick up. Let's see if we can get it all done in one day, in one episode, and post it for you guys before we head to California. It's gonna be a fun trip, man. Here we go. All right, y'all, second stop. It is getting hot outside. We are at Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World and Grapevine, baby. We're here to pick up the goods. It was like a traffic jam getting out here. Let me tell you what. There's like a fishing expo at some point on the way over here. We're running and grabbing the part for the boat. We may pick up some other things. I don't quite know. There might be some baits. There may also be a reel over here that we could purchase. It's kind of tough to say. It's up in the air. A lot of places are sold out and have limited stock, especially when it comes to left-handers. So that's why we're driving halfway across town yet again after this to grab a certain special reel I think you guys are gonna love that we may showcase in today's video. But let's go ahead and get in here, see if we can find this part for the boat and get back on the road. I'm running around looking like a chicken with my head cut off, man. I'm trying to find this item. I don't know where it's at. Could probably use one of these for the John boat maybe, but 50 bucks just for a little piece of wood and ass. You too, thanks so much. See you next time. Dude, sick. We got lucky on the purchase today, man. You know, a lot of reels are out of stock with the whole COVID thing, I guess. Like just nobody's getting these reels in stock and I found a hidden gem, man. I think it's newer. It's the SLX MGL. It's a 70 size spool, but specifically it's the 71 left-handed because that's what I'm trying to throw. And so I can use this for some flipping and pitching out in California on that Delta trip. It sounds like we're going to be doing a lot of that, but not only does it have that smaller spool, it's not just geared towards finesse. It sounds like it can hold up to some heavier applications and really start getting into some thick cover and not tear down on us. So it was, uh, I think, 140 bucks. We're gonna definitely be fishing with that sometime today. But I'm still headed across town to grab another reel. Give me one sec. Let's get in the truck real quick and talk on the AC. And it's the XG. This is gonna be perfect for flipping in the heavy cover. We're gonna go ahead and crank those things out with the fast gear ratio. And it's the 71 spool size, so it means it's got a shallower spool. You don't put as much line on there, and you don't need all that line. You're not making far cast. So this is gonna be a dedicated flipping and pitching reel for me now. Very stoked, summertime. I'm probably about to spool this thing up with 50 pound Guggen Squad braid, which we got from the HQ earlier today, and have ourselves a good old time. I'm gonna back the spool with some of this old Seaguar I found. It's 20 pound, and I'm just gonna go ahead and have that a short backing. I'm gonna do a double uni knot to my braid, and then it's gonna be flipping and pitching central with the 50 pound braid from then on out. I've never owned a reel with a spool size under 100, I don't believe. We've got a couple hundred size spools. We've also got 150s, kind of like just that all purpose you might say. We've got 200s, 300s, and even a single 400 spool size reel, which is really just for the dedicated biggest of fish, not even really large 
about bass fishing, right? We have that Tranks. We've got our Tranks 200s that we like to throw those big swim baits on, extra heavy duty gears inside there. So anyways, we have the newest addition to our real lineup today. I'm thinking about selling my SLX DC. So this will probably occupy the SLX DC's muscle rod or maybe a go-to rod. I'm thinking muscle rod because I'm probably going to use this for some heavy duty stuff. I'm pumped about this, but I want to tell you more about it as we fish it and really do like a more of an unboxing and review all by itself. That way we can just kind of like cover the whole reel in one video. This is just like pretty cool that I stumbled upon this as most stores are sold out, especially of left-handed reels. When it comes to a lot of the stuff that Devin and I own, a lot of our higher end reels like that, you know, 250, 300, all the way up to like $500 range, which we really only have like one or two of those are right-handed. And that's fine because I'm kind of like ambidextrous when it comes to the fishing stuff, but I do enjoy fishing bottom baits left-handed and setting the hook with my right hand. So boom, that's where this guy comes into play. Anyways, y'all, we're going to go ahead and make our next stop. Also, side note, we met an awesome employee in here, Cal. We're going to probably link up and do a video in the future. He seemed like super cool. It was all about it. He's got a fishing YouTube channel, so hopefully uh, we can get together sometime and fish, as well as my buddy Justin hit me up. He came and said, what's up? And uh, maybe we get out with him later or vice versa. He comes out and meets myself and possibly Pond Boys, Ryan Rigged, Fisherman Dad Jimmy. The plans are all up in the air. It's like 1.45 in the afternoon, probably 6 p.m. We might be able to get out and get some fish for the sunset bite. It is getting hot outside, but I did bring a hooded sun shirt. You know me. I like to stay cool. Let's finish this thing off with another real purchase, and then we're going to go fishing. Technology and and culture and a lot and you, you really think you're doing a good thing you think you're changing things Ooh, all right all right all right we're rolling up check it out all right man we got the goods very stoked about this reel like a lot more stoked than some of the other reels we've purchased recently it's going to be very different very interesting off the wall i think you guys are going to like it so i'm just going to run over it briefly before we start fishing ryan rigged is on his way we're at an awesome spot where we've caught some big fish in the past so let me just tell you about the corrado bfs xg that we just picked up it says left handle which i think is funny because you know normally it would just be like the one designation like 71 or 101 or 151 an odd number stating that it's left-handed but i think because it's bfs which is bait finesse systems if i'm not mistaken is so new to the u.s that it says left handle almost like it's uh in the non-us market and there's definitely a lot of there's definitely a lot of non-English verbiage on this bad boy right here. The SLX MGL I'm going to use for heavier duty stuff, flipping and pitching. I believe it's got a stronger spool, you might say, because what this one is specifically designed to do is cast out lighter finesse baits. It's got a clicking drag system. It's so cool. This is the Corrado BFS. So it's got that clicking drag system. It's designed to be able to throw those very tiny, light, 8th ounce, 10th ounce. So you'll probably see me pair this up with the Guggen Squad Twitch Rod, which is what I would consider out of the Guggen Squad lineup the perfect rod to pair with this. A little bit more of a finessier rod, just a little bit shorter, softer tip, good fling for these lighter baits, as well as the fact that a lot of the stuff I'm going to fish on this is going to be exposed hook or treble hook baits. And so with that being said, I'll be able to downsize the line, downsize the hooks, hopefully get more bites. It's going to be a ton of fun and such a small spool. Subscribe, hit notifications if you want to see me do the full review on this guy very shortly as uh, it is in the works. Ryan Rick has showed up and we have got the reel just about set up. We're throwing it on the muscle rod. I've got it spooled with the 50 pound Guggen Squad braid and a big heavy beefy one ounce weight today. We're just going to be ripping through some grass, having some fun testing this thing out. It might not be ideal for this exact location, but I could really care less. We want to have fun. We're basically throwing like a, a punch rig almost, just a heavy, heavy T rig, y'all. Hold tight. Brakes are on basically minimum. Got him. Yeah, out deep. This is a pretty good one. Just hiding in the deeper water. Yeah, this is not a bad one at all. First one ever on the SLX. Y'all, there you have it. First one on the SLX MGL. We tightened down the drag. We got the hook set. Ooh, and that was on the one ounce weight, which I am liking because this spot's pretty deep. And so I am able to get down to the bottom real quick. And I have, uh, and I assume after this first bite, that's where they're hanging out is out deep down low in the shade or the cooler water away from the sun's heat so let's see if we can get him back in the water and grab some more i thought i was recording gosh dang it i had to break out the pliers real quick i saved my last gopro clip i was all excited i was just talking about that fish catch that's how it goes all right we're just gonna have to catch some more for you guys we, that was on the sprayed lettuce bandito bug by the way that we just got more of at the hq i was kind of holding out keeping a secret from you guys but this water is a little bit stained this is like definitely my favorite creature bait right now bandito bug sprayed lettuce just slaying I've got two bobber stops on here because this is a one ounce weight. So I'm just trying to pin down that heavy weight and get to the bottom of this place real quick. 
And uh, first ever catch on that reel, man. That's the new one. Let's go. Yeah, I got a feeling they might just be right here outside the grass edge, just kind of hanging out. Ryan's on with a the fish. There we go. Second one of the day. What'd you catch him on? Vile Check crawl. Yes, Ooh. Pitching in that grass, man. They're in the grass. That's it. Little bassy boot. See ya. Oh, no. I just don't know where we're going to go next. Oh, All righty, sir. Well, this spot looks juice. All right, well, we just got a bite like second cast out here. Backs to the wind. This like a muddy bottom. Just I seen some feet. places around here with signs, so I was like, I wonder if this one's okay. Oh, like a pamphlet or something? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Shoot. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. Really? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Grew up on a lake, Lake Conroe. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, hey, I appreciate you. You too. Thank you so much. We just got kicked out by the nicest security guard you have ever met. He gave us a map of the city and it shows you everywhere you can't fish. And every body of water, it looks like there's no fishing. No fishing or swimming. This waterway is owned and managed by the Dallas County Utility and Reclamation District, whose governing policies prohibit fishing and swimming. Non-compliance may be considered trespassing. As a note, public fishing is allowed in the Elm Fork of the Trinity River. So we can go catch some gar maybe. All right, thank you for your cooperation. Sweet, no fishing or swimming in the city. Dope. All right, Ryan, this spot was a bust on to the next. He went to go grab some food he's at in and out then we were going to meet here but that obviously didn't last so next spot it is what's going down jimmy are we ready what are you throwing uh it's like i think it's an exo swim like a three inch exo swim with an underspin oh you got the right bait yeah there he is first one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay that doesn't usually happen on the hammer hooks could be because i've got that big old weight on there again just kind of messing around today i was hoping to fish some spots where it was just like thick grass or maybe even like some lily pads growing up because there's some places like that around here but we just ended up at the wrong places for me to be rigging up a one ounce weight i would normally just go like a quarter or a three eighths ounce fishing stuff like this you guys this is just kind of like just having fun all right there we go first cast back on the exo swim this one's going out deep, which makes me think it could be okay. He's all right. Nice one. There we go. I think there's a handful of fish in this region. I kept getting hits on that bandito bug, but ended up ultimately switching back. This is like a post-spawn female if I've ever seen one. She is skinny. There we go. I think that's like a three-inch exo swim. Uh, we ran out of saucy swimmers until I hit HQ today, but first one on that puppy. Nice little fishy. Got us a nice wire from the fountain. Well, I don't think we're throwing this swim bait anymore. <laughs> oh gosh. Will that will this work? There we go. Okay. She said they're trying to preserve the fish and we have to fish on the other side of the bridge. Uh, we just got kicked out by the police, I guess so. On to the next spot. Oh my gosh. Bass just came to chase it. Bass just came to chase it. Wow. Okay, since we just got that hit, we're tying on a frog. Okay, here we go. Top water. Yeah, got him. First cast on the frog. First cast on the frog. I knew it. First one feisty on the frog. Top water blow up. First cast. Let's go. Did you say down there looks good? <laughs> Whoa. What? There's tens in here. <laughs> hey, y'all stay over there. I got this. <laughs> I'd rather fish that side. I need a right-handed reel for this side. Oh. Oh, on the frog. I was looking at you guys. I didn't even set the hook. So delayed. Oh. <laughs> at the secret juice box, bro. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Grab the top water. That was insane, y'all. I did not even know that fish hit. My frog was just underwater and I set the hook. I was over there talking to those guys saying like, oh yeah, I got this side, y'all fish that side. We're at the craziest urban spot you've ever seen after getting kicked out of every spot all day. And I uh, went and released that fish on that backside so I could try and get a cool Instagram reel and uh, <laughs> post something to Instagram. That's why I was back there taking the picture as I released it. Well, taking the video as I released it for Instagram. But are you kidding me? So apparently if I just like leave this frog sitting still, I'm gonna catch like threes. I will absolutely take that on the new slx mgl 50 pound braid baby top water cannot wait to take this thing to cali here uh, in two days in fact when y'all see this video it'll probably be 
tomorrow because I'm leaving out Sunday. Well, I don't know, maybe this will be the day I leave, who knows. I got other videos to edit as well. But let's talk more walk, and when I say that, I mean walking the frog. I won't lie, when you're fishing open water like this, not like thick cover, a walking frog is not as ideal as just a popping frog, kind of causing a little bit more disturbance when there's like a little breeze like this, a little chop on the surface. But uh, I've gotten a couple hits, so I think because the clarity is pretty good here, they're definitely gonna see this thing no matter what, so you can kind of skip a little bit more of the vibration but a popping frog would be ideal. So just throwing that out there. Open water, popping frog, generally speaking, a little more disturbance, especially when it's choppy. Walking frog, when you're hitting that thick cover and need to stay in the strike zone longer, so you're just kind of getting a little less distance with every kind of pop of the rod there. It is so shallow right here. It's like, I didn't even realize it's only six inches. No wonder I got that hit out a little further than you would expect with a, uh, a frog. Oftentimes you just kind of cast parallel or 45 to the bank but I see now why he hit out a little further. This could be pretty flat, and uh, it might only be a couple feet deep for the majority of this pond. There might only be a few deep areas. I'll have to ask the guys. I think they're throwing some bottom baits or stuff that might get a little bit lower. Yeah, I, I don't expect this place to have too much depth, actually. What are you throwing? I have my tackle in my backpack. You want something different? Come get it. I would throw something different. I think you should throw something like, there. that was an active fish, and I don't know. I think right now there's a good chance to get something on a moving, like a dedicated moving deal. Yeah, I got baby contenders. I got like the bull gills. I got options. So I got these guys and the gill I have in that like shad color too. You're about to catch a giant. Uh, I gave him a little contender. You want a bait or you got some stuff? We are representing all areas of the water column, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy is now throwing the T-Rig on the bottom. Ryan is going mid column with the junior contender and I'm throwing on top with the uh, filthy frog. So. We have got bases loaded, ladies and gents. It is just a matter of time till this sunset bite really heats up and maybe we get like one apiece in a matter of minutes. Uh, or, or we just don't catch anything else at all. We'll see. That is the joy of watching these videos. You never know what's gonna happen. They might just find a ridiculous, crazy spot in the middle of an urban environment with a waterfall and catch a three pounder on a frog without looking. And then I might share the video because it was so entertaining. <laughs> I might drop a like, I might even subscribe. I'm not saying, but you know. Don't worry, there's still time for us to get kicked out a thousandth time today at this place. I don't know how we're still here. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments. How are we still here? This makes zero sense. Maybe it was destiny. Maybe we were supposed to find this place. It's not on the no fishing map, that's for sure. <laughs> Ryan's on. Swim bait. Yes! Junior contender, man. Did not even take long. Hey, you got pliers? That might be the same fish I caught. That's my spot. <laughs> I know the frog will get hits, but I feel like I want to throw a swim bait. That's just a money move right now. I'm throwing a muscle rod, and I'm also throwing braid. These are all relatively little problems in the grand scheme, but I don't know. Maybe I should just keep rocking the frog. Let's see if he catches one more on that bait. If he does, I'm switching to a junior contender. I think that's like a three pounder. There's good fish in here, insane. We're two three pounders and nothing else. Tell you what, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm throwing it. Baby bass, junior contender. It's been a while. All right, ladies and gents, 50 pound braid. Do not try this at home, ideally. At 12, 15 pound floral carbon with this guy right here. Yeah, depends on what kind of cover you're hitting. If you're fishing like completely open water, you want to go lighter gear, reaction rod, you could definitely just go like as low as 10 pound, I would say, uh, play those fish out a little bit. But if you're throwing it on heavy gear like me, it's just it just doesn't make sense really. The muscle rod is not good for these treble hooks. Could definitely break them off or well, like bend them out. I mean, not break them off. I'm sure you could with this 50 pound braid. I could just rip them things clean off. But Palomar knot, by the way, I, haven't, I don't know if I mentioned that we tie. I feel like I used to always mention it. But anyways, Palomar knot is our knot of choice. I've got a video on how to tie it as well as why we like it. Uh, if y'all want to just search Weston Smith Palomar knot, I'm sure you could find that sucker. All right, so not ideal equipment for the junior contender. Just work with me, y'all. Just work with me. Don't be any haters. Let's just, let's just fish it, huh? Let's just have a good old time. What do you think? First cast, what do you say? First cast, so far, when I've made bait switches today, I've had pretty good luck on the first cast. Uh, but my chances are getting thinner and thinner like every half of a second, because it's now, it's now over. That was my first cast, okay. Oh, got him, wow, that was like third cast. I think I side hooked him, because he came up and ate it like all crooked. Wow, got him. All right, well, that was like third cast, so I wasn't too far off. Hey, I switched to the contender. There we go, little dude, junior contender. That's what we like to see. Swim baits, baby. Sunset bite is hot. That was like two fish in two minutes. Basically, as soon as I retied after Ryan showed us what the juice was, we caught one. That is on non-recommended gear right there. I recommend reaction rod, 15 pound fluorocarbon, and then, you know, your, your reel of choice. Oh, two in a row, two in a row, bigger. Bigger. Oh! 
It's actually not that bad. <laughs> oh. Oh no. That's not good. He's like so tall, dude. I thought it was a different fish, a different species. Dude, smacked it two casts in a row, contender right here. Fishing the wrong gear for treble hooks and I got I had a foul play issue when I flipped him. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all there we go that's the second fish in two casts on the junior contender ryan rig's throwing it we're all catching them baby all right man well there you go we'll see you bub i think i high sticked it because i was flipping it and as he was going into the grass is when it like and i was like oh sh it was it was my fault yeah oh i'm gonna catch more oh i'm just gonna yeah i'm about to catch more yeah trim the fat we're getting back in the game with half a muscle rod. That was totally my bad. I like high stick that as I whipped the fish out. You can't do that, y'all. You can't be angling your rods up as you flip fish. Rookie mistake. That is actually the first Guggen rod I have ever snapped. I know I gave y'all crap on one of those recent videos and I said like snapped Guggen rod, but that was just because that wasn't actually mine, but Todd snapped that when he like tripped and fell and the backpack had the rod in it and he like ran it into a tree. <laughs> so <laughs> that was something a little bit different. We legitimately snapped that baby. Yeah, so when you flip those fish out of the water, you don't want your rod to go too at too high of an angle or it'll just say peace. That's why you want to keep it at a bit of an angle. It can still rely on that arch. But we ain't tripping, ladies and gents. We're going to go ahead, re Palomar, get back in the game. Now we got like a seven foot muscle rod instead of seven five. How about that? All right, let's see what else we got in here. I don't even know if I was filming for that catch. I just caught three. I think I saved the clip. <laughs> I am tripping. Oh, oh, something just whipped at it. Oh. That's a nice one. Right before we leave, man. Nuts. I know. All right, man. Jimmy with that big fish to wrap things up. It is getting dark. We got to get home. We got to edit. We got to get ready for this trip. We got things to do, people to see. Hopefully, y'all don't know the spot. I'm kind of filming the building out here. It's all good. Y'all don't know where this place is at. <laughs> you, I, I see the security right there. Yeah, you'll get kicked out if you come out here, you guys. Don't throw swim baits here either. They won't hit them. Also, top water, Texas rigs. I was going to show you guys all the baits we got at the HQ today, but I think we're going to save that for a future video. Just know this. Sprayed lettuce is the color you want. It is the bomb.com. Fish be hitting it. They eat it. The topwater frogs are great for summertime. It's starting to heat up. Lexus. Y'all, we got employees trying to kick us out. We got we to gotta get out of here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.